It is Monday, and we got some fun flavors. Uh, I'm kind of excited because we got a candy cane flavor, so we're going to yeah. see how it goes. But uh, let's go get those cookies. Yeah. yeah. We got the cookies. Now we got to go home and try them out. All right, everybody. First cookie on the list this week is the peanut butter crisp featuring Butterfinger. So this is a rich peanut butter cookie with melted chocolate and crunchy peanut butter finger pieces on top. Okay, second on the list is the triple berry cobbler. This is an Odie cookie with strawberry, blueberry, and raspberry swirled with delicious cinnamon cream cheese frosting and decorated with a dash of cinnamon streusel. Third on our list this week is a cake batter blondie. This is a cake batter blondie cookie with white chocolate chips throughout and a splash of rainbow sprinkles around. Next on our list is the frozen hot chocolate cookie. This is a rich chocolate cookie smothered with a hot cocoa flavored mousse and topped with baby marshmallows. Last on our list this week is the candy cane brownie. This is a rich chocolate candy cane cookie topped with smooth peppermint buttercream and chocolate ganache and crunchy candy cane pieces on top. All right, we've got a, a lot of good flavors this week, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. So which one do you want to start with? Uh, I'm going to go with the one that I think will probably not be the best tasting, which is just the Blondie. All right, let's try the cake batter Blondie. Let's do it. I mean, I do love all the sprinkles around it. It's pretty. The sprinkles do nothing for me. <laughs> Cheers. I... It's a kid cookie. Mmm. Still soft. Mmm. The white chocolate really helps the cookie, I think. I mean, it's... All in all, it's a festive cookie. Probably kids would love this. It's good. It tastes very much like a sugar cookie. I like the white chocolate chips. I think that helps. Um, Cake batter is really good and soft. I hate to be a broken record. A little bit of icing goes a long way on this one. Yeah, but I don't think you can do that with the sprinkles. I can make it work. Now, I'm already starting to get vibes of what I'm going to do this week for my Franken and cookies. So. Oh, it, it might be that one. We, we shall see. All right. Now to the, on to the next cookie. Which one do you want to do now? Well, I'm kind of saving either the hot chocolate or the candy cane for last. Since that's kind of the vibe of the season right now. We're okay. in Christmas mode. Thanksgiving okay. is over. So we're in Christmas mode. So I would rather have the, let's just say, the Butterfinger cookie. All right, Butterfinger cookie. I love Butterfinger. It's one, I of, my, one of my favorite candy bars. My teeth hate it because, you know, Butterfinger gets stuck in your teeth and you're yeah. sitting there picking it out for a while. But That's why I gave you the big chunk of the Butterfinger. You know what I missed? What? Butterfinger BBs. Those things were great. They were like little balls of Butterfinger. The, those were fantastic. You could probably find them online somewhere. Maybe. All right, here's, here's to the Butterfinger. Mmm. Crispy, just like a Butterfinger. Now, is it a peanut butter cookie? Let me research. Mm. Yes, it is a peanut butter cookie. Mm. That's yummy. I get the peanut butter. I like the drizzle of the chocolate on top. It gives you more of the chocolate that you get with a yeah. Butterfinger cookie or a Butterfinger piece of candy when you eat it. So, it's well, like a Butterfinger to me. This one's good. Um, Crumble's done like the, the Twix shortbread cookie before, and that one was just a big miss. It didn't taste like it. This tastes like a Butterfinger. That It's good. Doesn't really need the icing because you have the Butterfinger on top. You've got the uh, chocolate swirl, the peanut butter cookie. I mean, it's good. It's well, a I don't cookie. think that chocolate is really it, it an adds icing. Just, I just think a it's, bit. it's a drizzle. It adds just enough. But it gives you that chocolate that you miss from like eating a Butterfinger. Yeah, I love Butterfinger. So that this cookie is just... It hits out the ballpark for me. All I like it. a good cookie. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It was soft. Again, I got the Butterfinger vibes from it. It wasn't as bad as eating a Butterfinger when it gets all crumbly in your teeth or stuck in your teeth because it yep. was in pieces. So it worked. I love that cookie. Yeah, that's a good cookie. All right. This week we only had uh, five, so we got six. So I, I wanted to go back to the chocolate chunk, try that real quick. So... Hey, it's probably not going to make the list, but I like how they go from chocolate chip to chocolate chunks. So I like the chunk one better. I appreciate it. I like a good chocolate chip cookie. Cheers. This is one that you got to heat up and eat while it's warm. Mm. 
and drink with a big glass of milk. I love the chocolate chunk. And I love because they add dashes of salt to it. Mm hmm But everything is better than their chocolate chip cookie, but this is a really good chocolate chip cookie. I mean, good. The, the chunk is terrific. I love the chunk. I do. I do. And I love the salt. It adds the sweet and saltiness to it, which it kind of needs. It so. makes it that much better. Yep. So three cookies down, three more to go. Now, are you wanting to do like a double chocolate at the end, or do you want to do a chocolate fruit chocolate? How do you want to do this? You know what? Let's do the fruit. Let's right. save the holiday ones for the end. I'm excited about this because you know me. I love the fruit cookies. Well, the fruit's starting to run, so you're going to have to. We're going to have to. Cheers. Because I licked it. I love this one. It's messy. I love it because it has all of my favorite fruits. I gotta remember which one they are. Strawberry, blueberry, and raspberry. I love it. Ooh. I love the oatmeal cookie. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of oatmeal fit flavor in that. You get the crunch of the oatmeal. You get the cream cheese swirl, which kind of offsets the tart with all the fruit. <coughs> it's a really good fruit cookie, and I love it. Like, give me a. It tastes like a cobbler. I just don't know what to say. It tastes like a cobbler. I mean, that one's really good. It's a good. fruit cobbler. The yeah. fruit's really delicious. It really adds to it. Having the cream cheese there makes it better. It's not herpy sweet. No, like it, that one's perfect. You would think would be. And the fruit's not really tart because I feel like that cream cheese kind of offsets it a little bit. Yeah. Um, right again, base I, in the cookie. I, 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 I love the oatmeal cookie. I think if they were to have changed the cookie, it just doesn't do as good. No, the right. oatmeal it reminds me of like a granola bar. <laughs> Yeah. Like those bars that you eat in the breakfast morning, but hence they don't have cream cheese in them. But Maybe it reminds should. me of something like that. Like that would be good for like, this is one of those breakfast cookies. Yeah, this would go I right would go along with a pancake or uh, an eggnog Could cookie. It, oh, eggnog. That'd ooh, be good. an eggnog cookie. I'm, I wonder I'd like if that. we'll be in, I wonder if we'll get lucky to have an eggnog cookie. Hopefully. I wonder if Crumble we'll listen. That. That would be great. An eggnog cookie. But again, this is a super yummy cookie. I think all of the cookies we have had have been very soft. Yeah, really good. Um, mind you, we are eating these like 15 minutes after we got them. So yes. they haven't been sitting in a box for a few hours. Yes. Um, that one is super flavorful. I love the fruit. That's good. Again, it's a really good cookie. All right, next one on the list, let's do hot cocoa. Oh, I love hot cocoa. Let's do hot cocoa. And I love the little marshmallows on top. Now, what is this? Are there things? Let me. It looks scroll. like there's stuff inside. I know. It, it looks like a solid fudge cookie, like like a brownie kind of. It's so thick. Yeah, but I have something on the inside of mine. Yeah, it looks like chocolate chips. You think? Maybe. I guess we're gonna have to sample it out and see. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Or I got a bite of that. Mm. I love the hot cocoa mousse. That is, that is totally whipped to perfection. Yeah, it tastes like hot cocoa. It tastes it's like hot cocoa. hot cocoa. That's so good. I'm trying to figure out what this chunk is in my cookie without breaking my cookie. It's yummy. It tastes like it's just added chocolate to it. It is. It's just more chocolate. Like it's more like it's another chunk of chocolate. Yeah. You bite into it, which gives it. It's really good. An added kick. What? Mm. And I love the frosting on top. It's a whipped ganache. Well, that is what the brookie. Oh, it's a mousse. Needs. It's a mousse. So I should apologize. That is what we're going to do this week for the frankening. We're going to take <laughs> the brookie. We're going to take the yumminess, which is here. And enjoy. There we go. That's how you make the brookie better. No, not the brookie, the uh, blondie. The blondie? With chocolate. With the, the whipped ganache, as you say. I mouth. mean, it's That's a mousse. good. It's a mousse. That's good. That hot chocolate mousse, oh my gosh. That's good, and it makes all the cookies better. It is super chocolatey. So it makes me wonder. Chocolate chip cookie. Well, you don't have very many cookies left. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's good, too. So the hot chocolate one goes good with anything. Feel free to try it. It's amazing. <laughs> Have a 
I suggest chocolate go well with most things. Two thumbs up. All right, last one for the week. We have what? The candy cane brownie. All right. I'm excited about this one. I mean, we're talking, they said it is a peppermint brownie cookie. I love peppermint. You can't go the wrong with it. whipped, the, a, a peppermint buttercream, it says. I'm looking forward to it. Can you to have it. a peppermint buttercream? And then a chocolate yes. ganache. That's where the ganache came from. Yeah. And chopped up candy canes. Okay. Let's go. See, I think I have to try this peppermint. Mm. No, they didn't. Mm. That was good. That has peppermint in mm -hmm. that whipped topping. Take a bite. That's good. That throughout is peppermint or candy cane. Ooh, I love That's good. the crunch of the candy cane. Well, I'm thankful that they have a chocolate cookie because it definitely sets it off the right way. The chocolate cookie is soft. It's fudgy like a brownie. The peppermint um, whipped cream is oh. great. The ganache is good. The candy piece is good. Yep, that, I can't wait for the milk. Those are the four things you need in any crumble cookie. A really good cookie base, a really nice cream or some sort of frosting, a little chocolate ganache, never hurt anyone, period, and then having a little topping is perfect. That, by far, that was, that just screams the holidays and Christmas yeah, that's to great. me. Uh, peppermint, chocolate, <laughs> brownie, candy, king cookie. It yeah. screams Christmas to me, and that was the one I was looking the most excited about. Yeah, when when I heard that one was this week, I was like, "Ooh, that's gonna be good." So yeah, that's a really good one. We I saved a good one. one for the end. So. Yep. Now we're gonna have to deliberate and see which one makes the list. After all those cookies, remember it's always the best thing to chug your milk. Do you have any this week? I did. I drank mine literally right after I had my candy cane cookie because it was so chocolatey. I needed to drink the milk with not, it. Not the, the second time. after. You let it kind of just settle. Well, then this is what I'm going to have to do. There you go. Cheers. Take a tiny bite of the hot chocolate cookie. And I saved some milk for Santa. Mm. Could you imagine if Santa got cookies like this? Oh my goodness. Santa, Santa would, be, would happy. be delivering some awesome gifts if you left him crumble cookies. Well, the good thing about Santa is you don't have to bribe him. You don't have to give him the best cookie out there. Any cookie that comes from your heart is good enough for Santa. Santa would be loving this platter. Oh yeah. yeah. Absolutely, but uh, that was really good. We're going to deliberate and figure out how they stack up. Which one was our favorite for the week? All right, boys, we've got six to try this Ooh. week. Uh, so let's start with the one that uh, is on there every other week, the chocolate chunk. See, little chocolate cookie I love. Mm. It's very warm. Mm -hmm. Chocolate oh. coating. The cookie on top is... Crunchy? No. The chocolate is ooey gooey. Very good. Nice ratio between the melted chocolate and the salt and caramel. Wait, not salt and caramel. I meant to say the sea salt. The, the salt, yeah. yeah. Salt's very good on it. Uh, let's go with the blondie. Yeah, this, I love cake batter it's, blondie. It's that one, the one your brother yeah. yeah. That was cake batter blondie. Yes, yeah, I said that. Um, I love cake batter and I love blondies. I have to love. We have other here. It's very nice birthday cake flavor. This is good for us. For our parents, maybe not so good because maybe it needs icing. And it does. So we would like have like a confetti icing on it and it would be delicious. Awesome. Let's go with triple berry cobbler. Mm, I like cobbler. Who's had this one before? Uh-uh. I, I feel like it has to be similar last week. Similar, but no. That one's good. Mm. It's soft to get the berry. I get blueberry. You, I get raspberry. Yeah. You get some seeds with that. I need blackberry. Strawberry. Oh, get some seeds. And then which is like a good food flavor. I go. The icing is, I think, vanilla. Oh, okay. It's like a cream cheese. Mm -hmm. That is good. And I like the cookie itself. I think it's like it's oatmeal cookie. Uh -huh. But but I think it had like blueberries and, and, and berries inside of it. 
cut cookies because there's like a like a little purple hue to the cookie. Very good. Oh yeah. Nice. And you like this little like um triple berry compound, but it's really good. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's go with the peanut butter crisp featuring Butterfinger. I love Butterfingers. Very crispy. Cookie is crispy. And soft. The Butterfinger is crispy. And the chocolate drizzle is very good. Good question. Did you get with the um, Butterfingers on the, um, in the middle of the cookie? Good job. It's got like that like good chocolate drizzle. I think it's like a meaty peanut butter drizzle. Good into the meat and it's a uh, um, peanut butter cookie. So it's really good. Awesome. Let's go with frozen hot chocolate. Ooh, I love hot chocolate. Isn't isn't that the other way around? Isn't fro- isn't hot chocolate supposed to be hot? No, they do make a frozen hot chocolate, which is really good. But that, that's what this is trying to mimic. Mmm. Cookie. The cookie and the acting is like hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, if you had for this with milk, um, or and put, and put like wonder, it would actually taste like a hot chocolate. Yeah, it's a frozen hot chocolate. I, I, I should try that. That is delicious. You get that nice, good marshmallow flavor with the hot chocolate, and it's just really good. Good. It's delicious. All right, last one, candy cane brownie. I love candy cane. Okay, <coughs> so before I eat this, maybe at the end of this, I might want to combine the hot chocolate with the candy cane. I'll do that to see what it will come up with. Because I don't know what that will come up with. Who wants to? Just try the candy cane. I Mmm, that's good. It's a lot. You like that peppermint candy cane is? You get the chocolate on top, very, very good. And then you get the whipped cream, delicious. Mm-hmm. That's a good cookie. You get, yeah, exactly what he said. Good chocolate cookie with whipped cream. Good hardened chocolate with a little peppermint shaving on top of it. Well, it it's peppermint whipped cream. It's a chocolate peppermint ganache with peppermint pieces. Wait, I'm going to taste that. Yeah, the whole thing is, is like a candy cane. Now to try them together. I'm going to I want to try. I don't know if this is good, I don't know if this is bad. That's a unique flavor. Yeah, I don't know if the frozen hot chocolate and the candy cane work so well together, but hey, you try something. Yeah. So, Star Wars, what was your favorite flavor? Cake batter blondie. Cake batter blondie, that's funny. And Jurassic Park. The triple berry cobbler. Triple berry cobbler. Amazing. All right. Thanks, boys. Thank you. Bye. All right. We have deliberated, and I believe we have a consensus. Yes. So, since we did six cookies this week, coming in at number six. The cake batter blondie. Yes. Uh, It's better with icing on it. Crumble, make sure that if you ever put that one back out, put an icing on it, it'll be better. It's a delicious cookie, super yummy. I love blondie cookies. Um, The sprinkles are cute. Kids would love it. The white chocolate helped. But again, somebody had to be our least favorite for the week. Don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong. These cookies are still yummy. But others just had better flavors and tastes and more unique. I agree. Uh, Coming in at number five... (laughs) The chocolate, the chocolate chip chunk cookie. Yeah, the chocolate chunk. I mean, it's great. It's, uh, you know, every other week it goes chunk, then chip, then chunk, then chip. Um, and that one should always be number six. But the fact that something was below it uh, tells you that, you know, the chocolate chunk is where it's at sometimes. I love just good old-fashioned milk chocolate. Yep. Super yummy. Get that cookie, dip it in milk, call it a day. Yep. That's good. Uh, coming in at number four this week. The name of it escapes me. The it's the Butterfinger. Butter, Butterfinger crisp. crisp. It's a peanut butter crisp cookie. Yeah, peanut butter crisp featuring um, Butterfingers. Ha- had that cookie been on any other given week, that probably would have been number one. Um, but it, it 
that had, some had tough a lot of tough competition this week because there were great cookies this week. And yeah. Crumble has done a lot of candy cookies, but some have not you know, done this well. One's, this, one this one was, one was really very good. good, very well put together on their end. Yeah, so. love that cookie. I could do that one again. Um, coming in at number three this week, the Triple Berry Cookie Cobbler. Cobbler. Yeah. My it, bad. Great cookie. I, I love the whole premise of it. I think it's fantastic. Unfortunately, it didn't make our, our list because we've got a lot of good cookies on there. You know me. I love the cookies that have fruit flavorings to it. So this one was a winner for me, hands down. It had all the good berries in it. Oh, yeah. The cream cheese was delicious. I'm not a huge fan of oatmeal cookies, but I overlook that when there's fruit added to it. So yeah. it was a winner. Yeah. This week is crazy because it's one of those weeks where you might want to go back midweek after you've eaten everything Monday, Tuesday, and you just get more. I could see me Not getting, that you haven't eaten enough I, I could, Thursday. I could see me getting a four-pack of the, the four top ones because they are that good. Um, coming in number two. The frozen hot chocolate cookie. That, that cookie is great by itself. It's great when you pair it with other cookies. Uh, you might want to just get that cookie to save it for upcoming weeks to pair it with whatever because it it's good. Um, it, if you decide to do that, put them in the fridge. It lasts longer. Well, it's supposed to be chilled anyway. So um, it did make our list. It's number 19, frozen hot chocolate. So I excellent. Love it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even get to bite into the marshmallow, but the cookie for me, I had all the hot chocolate flavor, but cold. Then, then you didn't get the... Take a bite of it with the mar... No, you have to take a bite. Not that, that, with the cookie. Gotta take it with the cookie. Tastes like hot chocolate to me. She didn't get the full experience, so sadly, she can't speak on how good that cookie was. I can. I made sure I got the marshmallow in the bite. I'm not a fan of marshmallows on their own, so... Yeah, this one has to have it like a s'more. Yeah. <laughs> Squish it with chocolate and everything's all better. Exactly. But coming in at number one this week... So good. <laughs> the candy cane brownie cookie. Oh, it was so good. It's delicious. That is one I could have again. That one shot right mm -hmm. up our list. That was number six, I right mean, behind buttermilk pancake. This was a chocolate brownie cookie. The peppermint it, icing. Peppermint put it over the top that with the ganache. That icing mm. had peppermint in it. Yeah. Even though I was trying it on its own, it had the peppermint in it. Then you have that chocolate ganache. Ganache. Then you have the candy crushed candy cane pieces on top and that yeah. with all that soft on top of soft on top yes. of a hard ganache that candy cane pieces just set it apart with the crunch and something about it i love that crunch yeah and, and, and i'll tell you uh, you can probably see it right now sparkling in the picture behind us but we go out for christmas so right now we're, we're, where, where are we're, we're all this? decorated for christmas and, you know, nothing gets us in the Christmas holiday more than uh, the flavors of Christmas. And this brought me to Christmas. Um, I absolutely think it did. Well, I, I didn't line it up right. Sorry. Sorry, Fig. I put, I put Fig in the, the picture there. Um, but Christmas is, like, one of our favorite times of year. Uh, we love decorating and everything. And this cookie brought me there. You know, close your eyes. Take a bite of this. It's the holiday. It's the holiday. So It's Christmas. Crumble, thank you. That was awesome. Uh, Can't wait to see what else we have. I think well, we still have, like, four more weeks until Christmas. Just about. Like, last week we had the Thanksgiving flavors, which I really enjoyed. This week we caught that. Crumble, you're doing real good. Keep it up. All right, that'll do it this week for us. Everyone enjoy the cookies? Absolutely. They were really good. Crumble, you're, you're knocking that out of the park. Let's keep it coming. But for as far as we're concerned, Ben. Bear. Come back. See you next time. Bye. Bye.